Um, as you all may have read in the title of this video, today I'm going to do some music diving from my own collection. So let's talk about music, baby. Let's talk about you. I may. I don't know what that accent was, but here I am. Today I'm going to talk about, uh, and I'm going to pronounce it wrong, probably, Artecra Anvil Vapor. I don't know how to pronounce these damn words, but I love the music. So I first discovered Atekra, um during this period. I remember I was very much a big fan of MTV Amp when I was a kid. So I used to always tune in like late at night and watch MTV Amp. In case you guys don't remember, it was this awesome programming that old MTV used to have where they used to showcase electronic music from like everywhere. It was so good because they used to splice it with these really cool visuals in between each video. And it was just an amazing programming. I feel like it used to come on after like Alternative Nation, which I also loved because I was very much into like grunge and rock. I was a big Hole fan. Still is a big Hole fan. That's funny. But also like Nine Inch Nails and things like that. Um, artists like that rather and Smashing Pumpkins. And I remember MTV Amp used to come on and the sounds and the visuals were mind-blowing because me being a kid back then um, in Jacksonville, Florida, you probably were not exposed to a lot of music. I think there was like one record store back then. Um, it was not near me, and but it was in Jacksonville. It was called Einstein A Go Go. Memories! Um, <laughs> And like you weren't like if you went there you were exposed to music like that's when I say record store I mean like an indie record store because you wouldn't have discovered this type of music say in like a Sam Goody or something or you know a Circuit City. So I used to watch a lot of MTV. I feel like music was always on in my house. It was either BET or MTV and at night I used to watch MTV because I would be up alone and MTV Amp would come on and I will never forget when the video for Second Bad Vilbel, probably pronouncing that wrong, by Artecra came on the TV and I was blown away. It was another Chris Cunningham vision that was just so amazing and psychotic to me with the sounds. Now keep in mind, this was probably around 1995. Oh my God, I'm... <laughs> aging myself but whatever um yeah and like the visuals for that video were so damn weird it looked like it was like a surveillance video of this like alien spaceship or some shit coming alive or this robot and i've always been really into like sci-fi like robots and alien type stuff so when i saw the visuals and i heard the music I was like, what is this? Because keep in mind, I was already into like industrial sounds. So the thing about it though, is that when Artecra released this, which I was so happy to find on vinyl, um, the song Second Bad Billable um, was released on their album Tri Repeti. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Oh my God, I'm gonna pronounce everything wrong. Try Repetai, which was a double CD at the time because I remember getting it. I feel like I went to like some store and picked it up. And I remember getting it and I was like, the only song that really sounded like that song was that song on that album. I was like, that's weird. So <laughs> just like, what's going on? And keep in mind, this is 1995 when Apex Twin also um, released I Care Because You Do what was going on in the UK during that time because the switch in EDM it like started embracing all these like break beats and like these blips and glitches and just like so many like amazing like very textural sounds that would come through your headphones so I instantly fell in love because I've always loved music that like tells a story or just like is very like interesting to hear so when I heard that album, but especially Second Bad Vote. That, I think it was on disc two, if my memory serves me well. Serves me well, whatever. Serves me correct. Um, and I was in love as a teenager. In love. Now, keep in mind, I just really, like, 
you know, that made me dive into more Atekra. And I do love their music, but nothing compares to that song for me personally. I don't understand why. Maybe someone down in the um, comments can help me understand, which is totally fine. I love to learn new things about music. But what was going on in 1995 when it comes to like UK EDM? The sounds that would come in, like Square Pusher, Apex Twin or FX Twin, as some people say. Um, Atekra, like there's so many. I believe Lamb also like changed their sound um, back then and they released, um, oh my God, what is that song? I believe it's called Beeline. Where it's like, ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da, and it just goes crazy at the end. Mind blowing time in music, I swear. So when I was an adult, I was so happy to find this record. Definitely look it up. Um, Second Bad Vilbel by Atekra. Um, I don't have any other Atekra vinyl, to be honest with you, because that one just like blew it out of the box. Um, Orbital was another great, like, sound back then the, or, the orbital was it the orbital or orbital um they also like there's like this atmospheric sound that came about during this period in like 1995 and it was so many layers so many like glitches and like interesting layers of sound on sound it's like mind-blowing so i definitely suggest reeling for some interesting music and some interesting visuals. I feel like I've showed this to like all my friends, but the second Bad Vilbel video is absolutely amazing by Chris Cunningham, who also did um, Come to Daddy, music video for um, Apex, Apex Twin. Um, he's done so many things. Bjork's All is Full of Love. He's an amazing, amazing director. Unfortunately, I don't think he's making music videos anymore. He also did really amazing videos for Square Pusher. He was really tapped in to that period. That period in visuals and um, music is just awesome. Because keep in mind, I think this was around the time that Hype Williams was doing like the hip hop and R&B videos and Chris Cunningham was doing like the um, like electronic and like, I don't know, pop music videos. It's just like so mind blowing. Um, really good time in music, definitely check it out. But yes, um, Atekra's Second Bad Vilbel, one of my favorite albums ever released, well EPs. Or songs because this song is on a two track 12 inch called Anvil Vapor. Um, the side B is I forget. Let's pull it out and check it because sometimes I hide the records in the back. Um, second Ping is the other song on this one. So, yes, this is the final. It's about to slip out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm obsess and I definitely suggest you check it out another good recommendation from that period I would suggest is the orbital I'm probably saying it's probably just orbital orbital the box <laughs> that video I don't remember who that video was directed by it was an amazing 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 video and I feel like this period in music definitely inspired a lot of artists back then from Madonna to Radiohead because everyone's sound started drifting it's like that period in like the late 90s or early 2000s rather when dubstep became really popular and then all of a sudden dubstep was like in all the pop music it's the same with like ed sorry id not ed idm back then influenced a lot of music i feel like that's when william orbit started working with madonna during the um oh my god it's one of my favorite albums ray of light album and um, that album definitely has some IDM influence. Um, Janet Jackson, I feel like, has some IDM influence during that period, but like the Velvet Rope. It's just a really amazing time in music. Get into it. <laughs> But definitely check out Second Bad Vilbel by Altecra, also The Box by Orbital, and pretty much anything by Apex Twin during that time. His albums during that time were really consistent. I'm not going to talk too much about Apex Twin because I already talked about him in a previous video. But like with the albums I Care Because You Do, Richard D. James, and Window Liquor, like that whole period of his music, it was really consistent and really went there and effing beautiful and so is Atekra's 
second bad bow ball. So definitely check it out. Um, this vinyl is a little bit pricier than it, it is. It is accrued in value rather. <laughs> just like, I think it's just harder to find now. Um, and so like if you check Discogs or something like that, it is a bit more than what I paid for it. Luckily I bought it like seven years ago or something. I don't remember. But yes, it's definitely gotten a little bit higher. But the strange thing is that Otekra has re-released a lot of their albums on vinyl, but they haven't, like the Tri Repita album does not have this song on it. It does on the CD, but not on the vinyl. And so when I saw that they were reissuing that, I was like, ooh, maybe I'll get it, but it didn't have that song on it. So it was just like, mm, maybe I won't get it. So I got this one and I'm happy. So yes, definitely check out Tri Repita. Check out Second Bad Vilbel, all by Otekra. Such an amazing moment in my life when it comes to music. And it really shined experimental music into my eyes because I definitely would regard these sounds as experimental, definitely. Not just electronic music, but it is actually experimental music in my book because it takes it there has no like restraints and just is really an artistic like expression that blows a mind. I'm like, go for it, go all in, take me there, give me visuals in my head. And that's what this music does. So definitely check it out. All the things I've recommended, I'll try to link down below or just mention down below and then you can do some digging yourself. Cause it's also interesting thinking back back then is that you kinda had to discover music on your own. Like you had MTV, but would you stay up to watch MTV that late, you know what I mean? It was a different time versus like people just showing things on TikTok or YouTube. And you know, it's interesting to discover music. I absolutely love it. And I definitely suggest you guys do it too. So definitely check out the suggestions I have down below. And if you have any comments about this period in music, please give me any information you have. What was going on in the UK during 1995? Like, what influenced this sound switch that some of the artists had? Like, it influenced, like, this hard-banging, like, interesting boom-boom. Like, I'm just like, whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what influenced it? Let me know down below if you have any comments or insight to that. And let me know what your favorite Artekra album is. And if you have some recommendations for me to check out, I would love to hear it. I love discovering music. So yeah, like and subscribe if you like my content and you'd like to hear more from me. And definitely comment down below if you have any insight into this period of music in 1995. I would love to hear more. Love it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.